Would you believe me if I told you that nestled in the heart of Vilnius, Lithuania's capital city, that there is a neighbourhood which is very, very unique and very, very interesting. It's called Ujupis. And Ujupis, I believe, translates roughly to beyond the river. Now, what makes Ujupis so interesting? Well, it's the fact that in 1997, on April the 1st, they decided to form their own republic and break away from Lithuania. Here we go. Here's the river. And there's some locks. Now, Ujupis is a very, very interesting place. I heard about this when I was doing some research on Vilnius and interesting places around the city. And it has many, many quirky features. So one of them is that it formed its own constitution, similar to, I guess, the Bill of Independence for uh, the USA. And within that constitution, there's many various rules. Wow, look at this. How cool is that? Now, sorry, Tam. <laughs> One thing you'll notice about Ujupis is that it is a very, very artistic district. It's a very bohemian, uh, very kind of, it's almost got like a hippie vibe to it. It's hard to explain, but it's very much a place of freedom. And that's what this place represents. So the constitution that I mentioned a moment ago has things such as the right to be happy or the right to make mistakes. Lord knows we make enough of them sometimes. So I would see this place for myself and see, you know, is it as quirky as, as they say? And is it, you know, is it true that there's a place in Lithuania that basically declared itself its own country? Strange. So in Lithuania, I have been fascinated by this country for years. Fascinated. Now, for context, back in 2016, I started college to do an IT course. And in that college course, I met some Lithuanian people. And a uh, big shout out to you guys if you're watching. And they told me so much about Lithuania. They told me about the history, the people, food, the architecture. And I just found that fascinating. You know what I mean? Such an interesting country. I had to go and see it for myself. But back then, I was a broke student. And despite the fact I'm still broke now, I can still make an effort to come and see these places if I save hard enough. So here we can see the angel of Ajupis. And the angel is a representation of sorts of the artistic feel of this place. And it represents freedom. And it represents love and unity. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go off and we're going to find the constitution and show you it. So let's go and have a look. So I've only been here for a few minutes and I can already see it's got a completely different vibe to the rest of uh, Vilnius that I've already seen. It's got a lot more of a, a free-flowing, relaxed vibe. You've got people drinking out, you know, which obviously is quite common around Vilnius. But it's just a very relaxed, very kind of charming way of life. And uh, I've often been very, very into that kind of way of life myself where we live it's just crazy craziness all the time and everyone's always in a rush and so to come to places like this where there's a bit more of a an artistic you know, feel and a bit more of a, a rustic vibe that's what you're looking for when you come to a new place I mean, look at the buildings for instance they've got such character and charm so here you can see Ujupis now that hand there you can see with the hole in it represents the fact that they do not take bribes so it's very, very interesting. And here we can see the constitution, which is written in many, many different languages. And I'll see if I can find the English version because that was uh, that was taken a moment ago. So I'll see if we have an English version of the constitution. We've got it in, wow, many languages. Hopefully English is here. No. Okay, but what language is this? This is interesting, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. Here's the constitution. Everyone has the right to live by the river Vilna? Vilna? Let's say it. Everyone has the right to hot water heating and winter and a tiled roof. Absolutely. 
everyone has the right to die but this is not an obligation okay everyone has the right to mistakes good everyone has the right to be unique everyone has the right to love everyone has the right not to be loved not necessity everyone has the right to be understanding and unknown everyone has the right to love and take care of the cat everyone has Everyone has the right to idle, and that's something I like to do. I'll put the rest of the constitution down below, or I'll attach it into the comments or something. I'm not going to read through all of them because there's quite a few, but yeah, this is Ujupis, so let's go further into this place and have a closer look and see what it's like. So as I may have mentioned, Ujupis was founded as a republic in 1997 april the first which therefore means that the day they celebrate their independence is april the first which i just find to be hilarious you know so april fool's day so originally this was done as a bit of a laugh really um but then it kind of like joke grew into something a bit more and then it became something that everyone kind of got involved in with the local area really and in the end they now have an army of 12 people i believe they have a bill of rights and they have citizens uh, of Yuzupis and of course they haven't officially broken away from Lithuania that would be quite the mess but it's interesting to see what the vibe this place has as you can see you've got family restaurants you've got old buildings as well and then of course you've got a lot of history as well and I must admit, when I first heard of this place, I thought, this can't be for real. And it quite literally wasn't. <laughs> it is an April Fool's joke. But I really like what they've done. They've taken a really unique idea, a really unique concept, and they've made it into something new. And that is, uh, that takes bravery, you know, to, to turn around and say, you know, we're going to do something completely different. And if we move on a bit further, we can see the other part of Ujupis. So there's two halves of Ujupis. We've got the river back here and the river down here. So let's head back over there because I'm sure there's a bit more we can go and explore. So another thing I try to do when I go to a different country is I try to learn the language. Uh, that's always something I've been very keen to do. And in these videos, I try to show you how to say and pronounce the language. Although I do apologize, Lithuanian is a very difficult language and very far removed from my native English. But I will give it a go and I'll try and teach you some of the Lithuanian that I've learned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Tammy to say the English and then I'm going to attempt to do it in Lithuanian. So hit me with it, Tam. Okay. <laughs> it's her birthday. I've got to let her off that. Hello. Hello is... <laughs> Hello is Svekia. Yeah. <laughs> or if you know the person well, you can say Labas. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I had some friends from college who I used to speak to quite a lot. And uh, I would always say to them, Labas, Cape uh, Sekasi. I think that's, uh, hello, how are you? As you were, Sam, as you were. Good morning. Good morning is Labas Vritis. Good afternoon. Good afternoon is Labadiana. Labadiana. Good evening is Labas Varkasas. Goodbye is Visogaro. Sorry, I don't speak Lithuanian. Sorry, I don't speak Lithuanian. Would be Atsi prashau ash nikala budi etun vishke. Do you speak English? Would be Are you skalbata? Uh, are you skalbata Englishke? No problem. No problem. Would be Yokolu problemu. Problemu. Yokolu problemu. <laughs> Can I have two beers? Can I have two beers? Would be um, Norisho sisakete du alus. One is Viennas. Please? Well, actually, depends. If you're saying it in a uh, in a conversation, like if you're ordering something, you'd say Vienna, which was very strange when I was trying to learn that no, because it didn't make sense to me. Um, as you were, sorry. One. Viennas, yep. Please. Please is Prashom? Prasha. Prashau. Prashau. Thank you. Thank you is Achu. You're welcome. You're welcome is Prashom. Can I pay by card? Can I pay by card is... This is a tough one. Argalu at Sisketite Cortella. Argalu at Sisketite Cortella. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Mm. Delicious. Delicious is Scanios. Have a nice day is Gerostianos. 
Yes is tape. And no. No is ne. So I've given it a go guys. Please let me know how bad the pronunciation was. I do apologize if it was terrible. I did my best, but it's very, very different from English. <laughs> I have learned quite a few languages and I must admit, Lithuanian is very, very different to most of the languages I've learned. In fact, from what I've heard, it's quite similar to Sanskrit, which uh, was unexpected. But wow, look at that building just there. How incredible is that? Border control. <laughs> it's uh, thankfully not as stressful as a border control usually is. I hate border controls. Uh, they're always ever so stressful. But hopefully, well thankfully, sorry, this one's not been as bad. We're just trying to cross the road and, oh, <laughs> lucky I didn't do that. I would have made a uh, mess on the pavement there. I would have been uh, popular with the locals. So we continue waiting and continue waiting. And I think they need to put a little traffic stop just here. <laughs> or I just need to stop being stupid and, uh, what is this? Is this a a bar? A baras? Yeah. Let's have a look. Thank you. Are you a caliber to English day? Uh, English day? English day? Do you speak a little? <laughs> I'm wondering, um, what is the best beer to buy in Lithuania? Can I get uh, Can I get do? Thank you very much. This is very nice. Wow, look at this. A beautiful pub. Very, very traditional. You can't have a look around. Oh, you got the car, cool. <laughs> I can't check in a minute if they pay by car, but wow, look at that. How traditional is that? Yeah, gonna try a local traditional beer. And uh, yeah, I better check actually. Uh, Argalu Atsis 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 Ketite Cortella. <laughs> ah, perfect. Thank you. I'm so sorry. My Lithuanian is so so bad. <laughs> it's a very hard language to learn. <laughs> so, are you from Uzupis yourself? Are you from here? I'm from Vilnius. Last. Are you from Vilnius? Okay. Last ten years, I've worked in Uzupis, and for the last eight years, I live. Really? What's it like to live here? It looks amazing. Honestly, we came in and I was like, this is the most artistic. The place. Really? I, I could not believe when I first entered because uh, when I first came here, I was reading into Vilnius and it was like, there's a place that created their own democracy and their own republic. And as I was coming in, I saw the word border control and I was like, what? Border control? This is crazy. Strof. Strof. That is, that is some strong. Is it strong? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. What was this called again? Sorry. Sorry? What was this beer called? Homolupu. 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 Okay. And beer is alus. 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 Okay. Achu. Oh, chips. Is it okay to sit here or is there a place outside we can sit? Yes, sir. Yeah. Outside. Perfect. We'll this go out way. Yes, this sir. way. We'll go outside. It's a lot cool. It's a lot cooler out there. Gerostianos. Oh, there we go. A lovely beer. Oh, that's good. She didn't lie. Look at that. 11 euros. A little bit on the pricier side. But hey, what can you do? We're in a completely new country. <laughs> well, what a view. A beer with a view. Or a, a loose. A loose with a view. So, yeah. We shall sit down and uh, have a beer with a view. Look at that, guys. That's all right, isn't it? Hey, that's a bit of me. Oh. So, I, uh, yeah, I'm just so happy to be here. I mean, I heard about Vilnius years ago from my friends, and oh, look at that, it's so cool. Uh, and they told me various things about this place. Um, but it's not just Vilnius we're going to, actually. We're also going to be visiting a place called Torakai, and also a place called Kaunas. Now, an interesting story is that we actually came here from Kaunas. And let me tell you, that was mental. We got the plane here, and currently in the UK, we're experiencing a really bad storm. So it's flooding majorly in the UK. Currently, it's very sunny here, which is strange because we're so used to lots of rain. But it's uh, completely flooded, so that for a period of time, we literally didn't even know if we we're gonna even be able to get here. 
our plane has stopped on the runway for two hours two hours and for those two hours we just kind of sat there wondering what the hell was going to go you know going to happen next and obviously as i've mentioned i've been wanting to come to lithuania for so long and i was so worried that we wouldn't make it but in the end it took off and we actually started off in kaunas because kaunas was the cheaper of the two airports so we thought why not so we got to kaunas and we stayed in a little apartment uh just about 25 minutes away from the airport and it was pretty nice you know had everything we needed and then we decided to make our way to Vilnius from Kaunas um, but because we're leaving from that same airport we're also going to visit Kaunas as well but yeah oh, God, this is such a good beer I always try and try a local beer where I go oh, so refreshing but yeah I think you know there's that really artistic spirit and one thing I really like about the Lithuanian people as well is that they're really straight to the point yeah you know I mean they don't mess around you know what I mean like I remember my friends at university they would tell me how it is you know what I mean they'd be like no that's stupid you know they kind of give it to you straight and I like that Tammy's actually quite similar to that aren't you Tam? oh yeah spades a spade spades a spade so how are you, how are you finding uh, Uzupis on your birthday? I'm tired I'm not gonna lie exhausted mm -hmm. how did you find the, uh, the trip into Vilnius? it's just travel travel just takes that out of me yeah <laughs> to be honest I'm, i must admit right out of all the things that you can do traveling is amazing but it's also easily one of the most stressful things you can ever do it really is honestly but it's rewarding once you get it you know once you get there like you know i'm sat there looking at this massive well i'm not looking at it but tom's looking oh look at these i've just noticed this look at these pictures just here how cool is that down by flowing river enjoying i love a uh, a lovely lithuanian uh, alus stunning so nice i uh, do apologize there tripping over myself there um tastes a bit citrusy that's got a citrusy taste doesn't it go on then give us your thoughts tam okay. 11 euros i was kind of hoping she would be keen on it <laughs> <laughs> then again more for me but um yeah so i'll still drink it oh yeah I'll still drink it absolutely so i think the plan that we've got for this trip is that we're going to be looking around various places in the city uh, we're going to do a bit of a food tour as well and mm. also we're going to go and uh you know just generally go and explore Vilnius and also Trakai and also um Kaunas as well because Kaunas is a very interesting place and there's a place in Vilnius that we're going to plan to go to and hopefully it doesn't stay this bright because I can barely even see myself but uh yeah We'll continue to wander around and see what we can see in the uh, Uzupis. All right, so that's the Alus, well and truly demolished, and uh, Tommy didn't want hers, so I ended up having hers as well. And uh, yeah, I start getting a bit uneasy on my feet. But why didn't I? <laughs> Shouldn't like it. Hey, look, I took a recommendation from the local, and I liked it. That's the most important thing. But yeah, if you're interested, Uzurio Kevine. That's how you say it, I think, possibly. Yeah, we're going to take these glasses back because, uh, you know, save someone the hassle of having to do it themselves. Thank you so much. That was so lovely. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Take care. Viso Gado. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and explore something called the Art Incubator. Now, as I mentioned, this is an artistic hub and you can see great examples of it just here. I mean, look at the details on this wall. Incredible. And we're not far from it. It closes in half an hour. So we've got to be quick. Two minutes away. Not too bad. Two minutes away. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. I mean, the people of Lithuania are incredibly friendly. So as I say, uh, we got a train here to Kaunas. It's her birthday. I think she's hinting at something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, everyone's been ever so friendly. That way. Oh, wrong way. Why me? There you go. So yeah, they've been really friendly. Uh, as I say, we took a train from Kaunas to get to Vilnius, and uh, we got a first-class train. Now the reason why we did that, we don't usually do that, but it was literally six euros difference. But in the UK, if you was to buy a first-class train, You're looking at hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of pounds difference, wouldn't it be time? Yeah. Our train system, our train companies. Might as well be privatised. Oh, They're so expensive. The train was so cool because obviously you had like two, two decks, didn't you? 
Yeah, it was a double, double decker train. It was a double decker train, and I was like, oh, never been on one before. Obviously, got on one. And first class is at the top. It is, yeah, yeah. It was nice. It was so cool. It was cool, yeah. First class was at the top, and uh, we got up there, we did the ride, and uh, they came over, did our tickets, and then they come and brought us a complimentary bottle of water. Uh, not just us, obviously, you know, we're not royals or anything. Huh? Look! the infamous mermaid statue. Now there's an interesting story behind this mermaid statue and I'll uh, flip this camera so I can get in a bit closer. But this mermaid statue here, there's an interesting story behind that. And that is that in the same way a mermaid, a mermaid, a mermaid, the drink's already hitting me guys. A mermaid can enrapture you and bring you in with her majestic powers. It's the same with a Zupis. And so when you lay your eyes on Uzupis, you'll never want to leave. But here we go. The Uzupio Republica. Look at that look. And that's where we're just having our alus. And look at that incredible building as well. We need to go down there and then walk that way, but look. Where's she sending me, guys? Right, the wrong way. I'll tell you what, we'll just follow it around. So, yeah. over this river. We'll go around the river. There you go. It's a new place to explore in it, guys. But yeah, so far, so good. I really like Ajupis. Now, if I had a chance to become a citizen, would I? Absolutely. I love the artistic vibe and the people are ever so friendly. Now, the, that is evidence that a language can really break down barriers. Making a small effort, you know, obviously probably gets a lot of tourists come in. But very few of them probably make an effort to speak the language. Now, I did butcher it. I do apologize, my fellow Lithuanian brothers and sisters. It's a tricky language. It's the sounds, it's a uh, tiskitita. That is so hard to say, especially when you're scrambling around in your brain for all of the different words that you're trying to learn. A tiskitita. And then the problem is as well, is it's very similar to usisakita. Usisakita means to, um, to, to, to have something, I mean, to like, yeah, to, to, buy, to buy something. So, norichu usisakita viena lus. I guess. But then I get mixed up between that and really there. here. We gotta go for a swim, guys. I'd say let's go round. But uh, as we, hey, look. look. I think we're a little bit away. <laughs> we're gonna have to go round. Hopefully there's a way to cross through this river. There is, there's another bridge. This is very much a city of bridges. I love it. I do like a good bridge. Um, but, yeah, so the language is something I'm, I'm going to just con have to continue getting better at. You'll notice in each subsequent vlog that we do from Lithuania that I'll become more and more confident speaking it, but that was my first attempt. Um, usis akate. Usis akate. Um, atsis kitite. Usis kitite. My word. Look at this. What a city. What a city indeed. So many ways to get through it as well. So many entrances. But I think they, they, this is uh, called the Bridge of Locks or something like that, or Bridge of the Love Bridge of Locks or something like that. What a very interesting, unique name. Well, hopefully, we're going to get into this place. Now, actually, this is called Tibeto Skirdavas. Skiveras. Skiveras. And I mean that, I think that means Tibetan Square. Look at that look. How cool is that? What a great idea. Take a book, return a book. What a lovely little system. So, we came past this earlier. But yeah, free Tibet. I believe the place we need is down here though. Through this lovely river. Lithuania, I'm uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. I knew you had a beautiful country. My friends from Lithuania told me all about it. But I think being here, and wanting to be here for so long as well, you know, wanting to visit this place and see it for myself for so long. Here we go. We've done it. Well done, Tam. My tour guide came through <laughs> <laughs> on her birthday. On her birthday, and getting her to cart me around to different places. Don't worry. I'll buy her a drink that she likes. Bailey's on the rocks with no ice. Hang on a sec. Bailey's on the rocks with no ice. Bailey's on the rocks, then, would <laughs> Bailey's on the rocks, yeah. But here we go. Look at this. This is awesome. Uz ikita, uz ikita. What do I recognise that word for? I feel like I've seen that word before. Look at this. This is, that is so cool. That is awesome. 
<clears throat> and that is right down my street. Look at that. It's pretty amazing. It's like ethereal suffering. Suffering for his art. That's how I interpret that. I'm not one for artistic endeavours, but... <laughs> yeah, so Tam is the, uh, the resident photographer for Instagram and uh, TikTok. Uh, say, well, not really, more a videographer for TikTok. But there's the gallery. I think it's closed by the looks of it. It's a bit of a shame. But the area... Is it? Yeah, but I think... Ah, Galeria, this way. Okay. We'll see how much it costs to go and have a look around. And we'll go and explore the gallery together. Uzikita. Uzikita. What does that mean? I thought that meant exit. But I think that's something else. Oh, blimey. So this looks like a... Oh, right, this is a ceramic studio shop. So I don't think this is it. I think that was the actual gallery. But that seems to be quite an interesting place, actually. We'll have to go and uh, check that out in a minute. A, ga um, a gallery, a uh, ceramics gallery, wow. But yeah, look at this. How peaceful and quiet and lovely is Lithuania. Look at that, look guys, eh? That's what I mean, I love the, the bohemian vibe. Look at these as well, cool. Huh? I means come in. Ah, okay, that word means come in. Thanks, Tam. There's a cat, there's a big connection to cats in Ujupis and I'm wondering what it is. Can you, can you try and open it then? If, uh, if, if anyone's taking the risk, it's going to be her. Ah, oh, okay, it is open. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is cool. I do apologise if the light is quite low. But look at this. How cool is that? Handsome people. I'm kind of jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. I'm not sure how much uh, skin I can show on YouTube, so I've gotta be careful. I better analyze the rooms before I walk in them. Okay, we haven't got anything nude at the moment, that's good. So, this is the gallery. Look at this, how interesting is this? It's, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not one to go to art galleries, but this is incredible because it's a community-led project and this is what's important. Ujupis is very much a community spirit. Look at this look. Wow. A big emphasis on ballerinas here. If anyone can tell me what this represents, please do let me know. Um, this is the, the ballerina room by the looks of it. What we got here? Ah, we've got some information. Photographer Vavia Abromaitia Maitia. I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a crack. Presents a series of photographs and objects to capture the delicate art of ballet. Suspending the moment of the dance. Okay, so this is capturing the essence of ballet people. Now I must admit, I'm not big on ballet, never done it. I don't really have the figure nor the, uh, the dexterity for it. So massive respect to these, you know, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen who do that. It's, uh, it's very much an art form and it's very much a discipline as well. So as you can see here, I think there's people through that curtain so I'm gonna go and disturb them. Yeah, there you go. Let's look at some of the artwork in there. And uh, free to enter as well, which is pretty cool. I'm glad we got there before, uh, before closing time. Let's see what else there is. So, wow. You've also got these photos here. No meaning of life. Change your values. Workplace or partner. Turn off TV and social media. Oh, mean, no meaning oh. of life. Try changing your... <laughs> What your value Error. your partner. I'll definitely change my husband. Oh dear, look, it's giving her ideas, look guys. <laughs> Restart reality, make it happen. Download the AR app, Restart Reality. Estonia, we're planning to go to Estonia soon. Now there is a statue over there, but it's uh, a nude statue. So I'm not sure what the rules are on YouTube here. So I better, I better, better be careful on that one. But uh, oh, look at this, look, this is pretty cool. What's this? Maros Skudzinskas. I think that's how you say it. It's either Marius or Maros. But given that, Vilnius, this is a strange thing as well. Vilnius, or as it, you know, how people say it is Vilnius. But I've always known it to be Vilnius because I learned to pronounce it from my friends. So if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I do apologize, guys. But that's literally how I learn it. Vilnius. You're kidding me. Tam, look, you're not gonna believe this. Where we were drinking is just there. 
where we wanted to go was just here. Yeah, no, I said that. Yeah. <laughs> I said I the wrong oh way. dear, guys. Hey, we just can't get the staff, can we? We can't get Sucker the staff. Me. Sucker, that's it. My tour guide didn't do the job. But I'll tell you what, we'll stay away from the, uh, the rather voluptuous statue there. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people to do nothing. I've heard that saying before. But look at this. You can't deny how cool that is. I've got to be careful to get the, uh, the boobied lady in the shot. Boobied lady? Just here. <laughs> That's actually quite an impressive uh, impressive set there, so uh, making me a bit jealous. <laughs> here we go, we've got more. This, uh, it seems to span for ages, guys. Look at this. Wow, what a district. Wow. So here we go. Lovely murals and artistic things on uh, walls. Absolutely incredible. Look how cool that is. Amazing. I wonder who painted these things as well. Who did them? Look at that. So cool. And down here as well, you know, you've got a traditional courtyard. So yeah, Jupis. The, uh, the neighbourhood that made itself into its own republic. Or I guess micronation, I guess you could say. But there you go. Look at that. More stuff. So Jupis, what are my thoughts? Well, I think it's a, uh, an incredible little place. It's an incredible project with some really cool people. And actually, it's uh, not something you see every day, the bohemian artistic vibe. What's that? Wow. See, I'd love to know what these things represent. And obviously I don't speak Lithuanian very well at all really <laughs> I know a couple of words so uh but it's interesting actually Lithuania and perhaps you can answer this for me as well and this actually goes for everybody but look we've got a lot of words here in English the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results I love that saying I've uh, heard that before I don't know who said that but what a quote and it's so true as well and for some reason as well I don't know why but there is a picture over here of a duck guarding maybe the duck guards something but um yeah I'd, I've always wondered why there's English signage or sorry English like words around your cities in Europe because we don't really have that in England like you may see a few signs in Lithuanian or Polish or stuff like that to do bake bread write letters destroy capitalism wow <laughs> this place is so 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 fascinating to me so so different but um yeah I just wondered that like you know, and that's, I mean, obviously English is one of those languages that a lot of people understand, a lot of people speak. Um, so I guess it's just down to that. But yeah, I'd be interested to know, like, what your stance is on that and what you think. Yeah, this is so cool. Absolutely love it. Free petativka. So, so cool, man. But anyway, there you go. So that's Uzupis. So Tam, what did you think of Uzupis? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> a lady a few words, this one. But uh, yeah, if you get a chance and you're in Vilnius, come and visit it. People are great, really friendly, and uh, most of all, it's got a very, very unique vibe, and you don't get that everywhere every day, do you? So, catch us in the next vlog, where hopefully my Lithuanian improves, and hopefully I can explore more of Vilnius, and indeed Lithuania, and understand more about this incredible country. See you soon, guys.